I just delivered my job to my client. I mean my translation job to one of my clients from Germany. And I received this email message from Kaz in the US. I am a C++ beginner and I wanted to take the time to tell you that your videos are very entertaining for me. Thus, I enjoy watching them. I also have a quick question. Are you planning on posting more videos on your English channel? Thank you in advance. Sincerely, Kaz. Kaz, thank you very much for your message. Your message made up my mind to move from Korean channel to English channel. Thank you, Kaz. Thank you very much. I'm finally going back to my English channel. You will watch this video in English. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is January 17th, 2022. This is my 14th episode for Advanced State of the Art CUDA Programming. This is also the last episode. In this session, we will learn how to use cast ARIAP, create container, make container, smart forward. To follow my current and future session, you probably need C++ library extension. Please double click this link. I updated C++ library extension today, June 17th. I also changed my library distribution method. If you want to download the complete source code, you can double click this link. By clicking this download link, you shall agree to Creative Commons License Agreement. So, if you agree this license agreement, Creative Commons License Agreement, I made a typo here. Please double click this link. Then you can download the complete source code for C++ library extensions. Show in folder, you can unzip it. To use this library, you need to make some environment variable settings. Copy the folder, move it to your system drive, in my case system C, create a folder such as DEBsoft, then paste it here. This folder CPP extension will be created. In this folder, you can find Include, copy the folder path, copy, right click, search, environ, then you can open, edit the system environment variable, control panel applet, select environment variables, then you have to create this environment variable. Edit. The environment variable name should be C++ include path. This environment variable is used for GNU plus plus and LLVM Clang++ plus plus compiler. If you don't set this environment variable, for example, here, dbsoft cpp extension include, you cannot use my library in GNUG++ or in Clang++ compiler. For example, I can delete it, edit new, then browse, move to system drive, dbsoft cpp extension, then you have to select include path. Click OK. Click OK. Please note that this environment variable is for GNU G++ and the Clang++ compiler. If you want to use my library with the Microsoft C++ compiler, or Intel Data Parallel C++ compiler, you need to create include this environment variable. Edit. In this environment variable editing window, 
you have to include this path cpp extension includes for example if i deleted it then create new browse this pc system deb soft cpp extension select include folder click ok this environment variable should be included in the include environment variable otherwise you cannot use c++ library extensions with microsoft visual c++ compiler so this is compulsory mandatory not optional click ok then you are ready to use all these libraries for documentation you can search here for example cast ref then i got this then you can click it this is cast ref there are 42 overloaded functions okay there are many cast ref functions there are 42 overloaded functions this cast ref function is super useful for federal programming also create container you can find this link there are two create container functions this is the older library starts to play fun types this namespace include c++ 17 comparable library cpg types this namespace cpg types this file is comparable with c++ 20 standard also make container you can find make container so there is two version i will explain how to use these libraries today for those who do not understand korean i will explain in my english channel how to use my library in gory details in near future sessions 